Hey guys, welcome to today's video. This is going to be a quick version and this is Paint with Lovejoy. Thanks so much for joining. Please subscribe to the channel and share this channel with your community. Like I said earlier, this is going to be a quick version. So if you prefer the full length, non time lapsed version, check out my Patreon page and my Paint with Lovejoy website. If you want to further support Paint with Lovejoy, please do. It all helps. And for more in-depth courses, check out paintwithlovejoy.com. And as always, share this with your community. All right, guys, it's going to be another fun painting. Henry Rousseau, uh, the Sleeping Gypsy. Uh, so grab your supplies, transfer your traceable to your surface, and as always, make sure you take your progress photos. Now this is the time-lapse sped up version. If you would like the full length, uh, non-time-lapse version, check out my Patreon page and or my Paint with Lovejoy website. You can find them on there. So for this one, like I said, do not paint as fast as the video. This is a time-lapse. Um, and we're starting with the background, doing a mixture of white and blue, about a one-to-one -one ratio, and filling up that whole background. And then we're going to do some wet-on-wet -wet blending with uh, adding some other colors and getting comfortable with the blending process. So as you're doing this one, you are going to be using smaller brushes and more controlled brush strokes, especially as we get into uh, smaller areas and do some of the blending. So here you can see where I'm slapping that white on there. Uh, mixing it in there and as you move your brush the more you move your brush the more it blends together and you can do this with another color we're putting the direct blue up in that top left corner and you'll notice that as you do your blending um, the darker colors you don't need as much pigment compared to the lighter colors that you're going to need uh, more pigment to get the color shift now we're moving down to the ground that the gypsy is sleeping on and we're doing a light raw sienna and then adding more raw sienna for the shadow element on the right hand side and the top of um, that little hill, hill area. And we are painting right over those traceable lines, covering up all of that. And then again, just working our way through the painting. Now you are more than welcome to reference this painting or the original. I did simplify this one. Um, and you are strengthening your power of observation as you go through the time lapse version or if you're going through the full version. Um, and that's a core foundational art skill, strengthening your power of observation. So we just applied some burnt sienna for the shadow on the ground. Then we're going to clean the brush and you can kind of blend that in there. Do pause the video as you need. And we're going to make a light green next and I'm using primary colors. So to make a green, I started with the yellow, added a little bit of blue and I actually added some white in there so it was a little bit lighter. If you have a tube of green paint, feel free to utilize that or use your primary colors. Basically, use whatever you have. The only way to fail at painting is to not paint at all. So move it into a light pink, and that is white with a little bit of red for the headdress. Um, and basically, we're kind of just getting our base colors on there, and then we go in with a little bit darker color, and with light pressure, blend that into the base color. Now moving back to some green and a bit darker, so it was more just the yellow, adding blue to it, or uh, if you've got your green, going a few shades darker than what you did for the robe. Then we grabbed a little bit of black, replacing it in there, uh, wipe off that brush, and then go back with light pressure um, and blend this into the base color. Like I said, you are working on your wet on wet blending skills and smaller and more controlled brush strokes. Then we're going to move into light purple for the mountains on the background, and again, because I'm using primary colors, um, I used my light pink mixture and then added a touch of blue to it. You can do that, or you, if you have blue, uh, or if you have your direct purple, you can mix that to a light purple. And then here, uh, we're adding the direct blue in the places that we want the shadow, and then you wipe off that brush, and then with small brush strokes and light pressure, blend that blue into that base light purple. Again, if you're one of my beginner painters, please do not go as fast as the video. This is a time-lapsed version. Pause the video as needed and go at your own pace. So finishing up those mountains with some of the shadows in there. Do remember to breathe. A lot of times when you're in your beginning stages of painting, we tend to hold our breath. That is not to your benefit. So remember to breathe and exhale as you touch the brush to the canvas if your brush happens to be shaky. 
So we put a light raw sienna on the musical element and then raw sienna for the top and then white on the bottom. And by creating three shades, this is what gives the illusion of depth on this flat surface. And then moving back to the raw sienna for the lion's mane and then some raw sienna for the shadow. Then we'll be moving into burnt sienna and your call, you can use the burnt sienna direct or you can mix burnt sienna and raw sienna for the body of the lion. And again, we're putting that base on there. Then we're going to use some yellow for the highlights and black for the shadows. But again, building on the wet on wet blending uh, that we've been doing throughout the whole painting. So again, adding that yellow, wipe that brush off, and then you're going to blend that color into the base. And then we're going to do the same thing with black. There we go. Put the black shadow on there. And again, just placing that color on there, wipe off the excess paint from your brush, and then with light pressure, go back and blend. I also recommend that you get out of your chair and look at your painting from a distance of five to 10 feet away. A lot of the shading that you're doing right now will make more sense from that distance. And we do tend to like our paintings and things in life from a distance. So getting in that groove of looking at it from further away, maybe making adjustments that you need, and then going back to your painting. Um, and then now we're moving into the burnt sienna and a little bit of black going for darker. And then same thing, the burnt sienna and black for the skin tone. You are more than welcome to change the skin tone to any shade that you like. Uh, you can use the direct raw sienna, the direct burnt sienna, a mixture of the two, or you can even use the light raw sienna, whatever you may like. But here we've got the skin tone filled in. Then we're going to go in with a little bit of white. Again, just placing it in specific areas, wiping that brush off, and then going back and blending it in. This is a skill that gets better with more practice. And the next time that you go to paint after today's painting, what you are learning right now, when you do it again, will make even more sense. And then you paint again and you take those skills into it. So painting is not about being perfect, but it's getting a little more comfortable um, with your process and your tools that you have. So last few little spots for that black, then we're going to go into white, fill in that moon. Um, then we are going to let this dry before we put the next layers on there. Basically we have stripes that we're going to be putting on the, um, the blanket, the robe, and the headdress. And again, because I'm using primary colors to make my orange, I started with yellow, added a little bit of red to get to the shade of orange that I wanted. But if you happen to have a tube of orange paint, you can use that and you can mix it with yellow or you can mix it with white to kind of change the shade or even a little bit of red. Now, as you're working with these small lines, play with the pressure of your brush. Light pressure is going to create a skinnier line. More pressure creates a bit of a wider line. And with practice, um, keeping consistent pressure gets easier. So if you have varying widths of line in your painting, embrace it for today and know that when you paint again, um, your muscle memory will kick in and you'll be a little more comfortable making uh, the lines or a certain width of a line. Here you can see that we've moved into the red. We're going to fill into a few other colors. You are welcome to change the colors for the stripes or anything on today's painting. Um, if you are finding that your brush is shaky as you're going to make these lines, that does mean you are holding your breath. So if you exhale as you touch the brush to the canvas, that will help um, in the process of making these lines. You can also put your pinky out and use that as a steady pivot point to rotate your arm or to rotate your hand or rest your forearm against the edge of the table. Also feel free to rotate the canvas in a desired position to make it easier to do these lines. I keep mine in the same orientation just because I am filming uh, the video for you. But again, adjust and adapt to what you need for your creative process. Like I said earlier, the only way to fail at painting is to not paint at all. So this is coming along nicely. Again, do not paint as fast as the video. Go at your own pace. We're going into some burnt sienna and even raw sienna for the hair on the lion's mane. And then we'll put a little bit of a highlight of white on there. Same thing. These are little squiggly lines. And anything else you may want to add to your painting. I am really grateful that you guys are taking time out of your day to get creative and paint. Please do not wait too long to do your next painting because you're just going to keep building on your skills. 
And that last step that we just added was the staff that the gypsy was holding. And we did a brown and then a white highlight. So again, thank you guys for painting. Until next time, cheers.